Welcome to Windows 8 Lessons and this is Lesson 13, Tabbed Browsing or Using Tabs in Internet Explorer. When you are browsing the web, often you will have a need or might be interested in having multiple pages open at the same time. Now, it could be just because there are two or three of your favorite websites that you want to access really fast or it could be because you're working on something writing an email an article and you want to verify information on a different page without closing the page you are actually using in the past we had to open two three four Internet Explorer browser windows to accomplish this task but today we have what we call tab browsing it means that we can open tabs inside Internet Explorer so basically you have only one Explorer running but multiple web pages can be seen in the same window or in the same browser. So how to use tabs? If you're using the desktop version of Internet Explorer then go to your desktop and just click on your Internet Explorer browser and it will pop up your favorite search page or your favorite web page which is the start page now to for example I might want to get my email but still be able to browse the web by searching on Google so what I would do is I can go on the up side of my screen just next to that little space where it says Google because that's where my Google page is open that is a tab if you go to the far end of that you see that it appears to say new tab or control T you can also use a shortcut control T if you click there you see that a second tab is now open and there I can go to my account so for example I'll go into my Hotmail account or Outlook and there I'll type the address or I'll make a search and here I am in my account now I want to re erase this there we go maybe I wanna search for something before I do an email I'll go back to the Google page I'll search for anything I want to search flowers for example and click and if I want to go back to my email all I have to do is just click on the upper right side um, on the tab that I open so tabs are useful because you can have for example your email open so that you if you're waiting for an important mail you can just leave it open and go into another tab and do whatever you want on the internet do an internet search go to your favorite web page read the news and it's easy to go from one tab to the next you can just click on the other tab to view the web pages and you can open multiple tabs I can open for example my email here I have my search and I want to have uh, maybe some uh, news so I'll go to uh, for example maybe the Yahoo page to reach for some of the Canadian news we have here so now I have the Yahoo page I have my email open and I have my search that I can actually continue using and uh, check for other information uh, computers for example and uh, whatever you wanna check is uh, all the pages are always open you know so you can use your web browser to do whatever you want but at the same time you'll have other pages open with other types of information so it's uh, sometimes useful one th thing to be careful of in tabs is the fact that some pages actually open links in other tabs so always check at the top if you have only one tab or multiple tabs that is a common mistake a common problem for a lot of people they click a link and they say nothing happens but if you look closely at the top you will see that the tabs are opening so every time you click you open a new tab when you want to close a tab it's as easy as going just on that tab for example I don't want to have my Yahoo page anymore so I'll go on the tab and you see that there's a little X on that tab I can click there and there we are I just closed the Yahoo 
page that was open. If I want to close my search and just keep my mail, I'll go to the tab which, that I don't want to have anymore, click that little X, and just keep the tab that I want to open or to keep open. If you're using the Metro version of Internet Explorer, tabs are a little different. You have, of course, a full screen experience here. So, for example, I have Google and I'm doing some searches. And suddenly I'm thinking, well, I, I want to go and check my email regularly, so I'd like to open another tab. You can swipe up from the bottom of your screen or you can right click on your web browser screen and there you'll see that at the bottom there's already tabs are displayed. The page that you're looking at is open in a tab. If you look at the right side of your screen there's a little plus sign. If you click there you're opening a new tab. Now I want to go to my Hotmail account. And here we go. Now I have my Hotmail op open and if I want to go back to my other pages, then I can simply go and right click to get the tabs open. If you have a touch device, a lot of touch devices, you can just swipe left and right and it's going to go between tabs that are open. Um, one thing that is different here is that in the desktop version you notice that the tabs are always visible on top. Because the modern or metro version of Internet Explorer is full screen, you never see really the tabs are not really visible. So if you want to access, you'll have to either swipe uh, up from the bottom of your screen if you have a touch device or right click somewhere to get that menu at the bottom with the address bar in the tabs that are open. Same thing, you want to close tabs in the uh, Metro or modern version of Internet Explorer, simply click the little X on the bottom right of the tabs and there you have shut down or closed that web page. And that's how it works. It's as easy as that and tabs are very useful. People don't use tabs a lot. Uh, unfortunately, I've noticed that a lot of people don't use tabs and um, I think tabs are very useful uh, in general because we always, we often have the need actually to um, open more than one browser window for access of some other page. Sometimes we are doing something on a page, want to access information on another page or compare tabs are cool for that. So these are tabs, it's called tab browsing and uh, hopefully you'll be using them. I use them a lot, I often have three, four, five different pages that I all want to see information and just swipe or just go through them by clicking on the tabs. It's a very fast way of getting these and instead of you know always relo reloading the page that you need uh, that will replace the one that you're actually watching, you can have several pages open without um, any sacrifice and any problems to access all the information. Hope you enjoyed these lessons and that they help you learn more on Windows 8. If you do have um, questions or comments, please let us know. Maybe you uh, like our lessons, why not subscribe? You'll know when new videos are online. We try to put videos as, as uh, as fast as we can, but because of work, I sometimes have difficulty putting up some new lessons. But uh, hey, we're gonna have uh, uh, hopefully three, four, five new lessons, uh, continuing the lessons this week, and uh, we'll try to get you know a full Windows 8 course if possible online. And uh, been having some great, great positive comments, so thanks guys and girls for that, and hope to continue and hope that you will check and continue to learn Windows 8 with these free lessons on YouTube. Thanks for watching and hope that you will come back. Bye-bye.